Afghanistan is one of the countries which has the highest violence against women. This violence can be at home, can be at the public places. Uh, be in a governmental organizations or private organization or school, anywhere it can be. So if you go to uh, some clothes which is not similar to the traditional of Afghanistan, you will be tolerated violence. My job was stop or raise voice against violence that happened with the women in governmental organizations. Before the Taliban came to Kabul and they were in Herat and other cities, we expect that they will come to Kabul. On that day, I was in my office. I went to my office. Normally, in, like any other day, you went to your work or your job. I saw the environment is not calm. One of my uh, friends, she shout, come out, let's go to home. I couldn't even take my private things in my office. It was a sad moment. I just saw everything. I took a look on all things in my office and I feel something has been finished. Everything finished. Yeah, again, special for me, for a woman activist. Some of my friends, they faced with lots of problems. Some other uh, women activists that I, uh, I know them, uh, so they uh, became silent, they beaten. Some of, in other cities, some women disappear. Until I was in Afghanistan, and we couldn't have any news about them. So that's why we decided to come out. I knew the ideology of Taliban. It was the second time the Taliban came to Afghanistan. For the first time they came, I was a student. I was danger. Six years I stayed at home. I studied at home. It's like you hide in from anything. Like it's, it's a crime if a girl study. I stayed at home, me and my sister, we suffered. And that, that next time the Taliban came, so I feel those days. My daughter said, what's happening? I told her, you won't be able to go to school anymore. She said, what? Why? How I can explain that the, a girl cannot go to school, cannot study, but a boy can study and go to school. airport here in Sao Paulo. When I uh, came out of the plane, I noticed that I saw all employees which is doing the legal documents in airport, they're all the women. And also I, I, I saw a woman, she was the head of or the director of these old staffs. Uh, so all the way we wait for our um, to get entry to Brazil. I saw these ladies interacting each other, they, they work. At that point, I feel, yes, Brazil is the place that um, they get value for women. It's totally different from my country. My children are going to school. 
language is the most problem which we have but um, slowly we will find friends in Brazil for getting a job we have to learn Portuguese I think yeah ah future future is a big challenge for us we don't know what will happen in the future If you think it's okay, I can leave a message at the end of a all message. the yeah, yeah, a message. Of course. Uh, I just want to say that leaving your house and leaving your country is not a hobby. It's an obligation that you become a refugee, that you want asylum to any other country. I just want the people who are uh, seeing me, who are hearing me, please uh, understand a refugee. Understand the feeling that the refugee came to your country. If you can help, but the first and important thing for a refugee is how you understand the feeling he or she in a living uh, her, his country. Is that okay? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome.